Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here with the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues in which we're playing as a Baron's Eye using the reworked generic focus tree mod to give us a little bit more flavor for our legacy and this nation in general. Our community is not founded alone. Our ancestors have left us great foundations that make us what we are today. The bombs dropped over a century ago and the actions by our grandfathers and great-grandfathers have shaped our society. We began to compile our history so that we may be told, or they may be told to our children and our children's children who are our ancestors. Uh, we'll talk about that. Our achievements. Despite the fact that we're a small community, we've accomplished a few remarkable things. So where are the Baron's Eyrie? So we're, he's we're led by a self-made or self-styled tycoon who controls his land with an iron fist. So it's all about having money. Our crust? Well, actually, that's not bad. You get more caps, but more caps expenses. Um, working class, middle class of the old world, probably not. Those who adapted to the end. Tech whizzes, good Samaritan's revolutionary thinking. So the old world dream for utopia. Prisoners, such as water. Um, lawmen of the old world. Experience with nature. Outcasts, scavengers. Previous page, previous page, previous page. Well, we should probably go with uh, the upper crust because we get more money. Oh, then again, we lost caps expenses here too. We are the upper crust. Well, I'll go with the upper crust. Why not? Our goals. Now, we must find a common goal. One that will guide our community through the dark pages of the wasteland. We've achieved much in the century we've survived and even at times thrived. Our historians seek to find what our greatest achievement was. A safe haven. Became a trade center, which we'll probably do. Salvage our home front. Securing our homeland, restoring power to our regions. Stable food supply, restoring water treatment. Settlements, vehicles, education. Restore some workshops. Pre-war armory. Retreat riot armor. Medical supplies, explosive stockpile. Salvage power, power armor. Survival manual, restored arms factories, train our defenders. Well, probably trade center. And we get to uh, unlock a policy about local politics. We've not been paying much attention for people, and we should probably do, not do that. We're currently led by an elitist, which is not bad. And I do want to go to war as fast as possible, but our goals. Now that we've established our history, we should figure out what shall we do in the present. Discover what we shall do in the future as a test for our children. Glow's Cradle. Who the heck are these guys? Junior Focus Tree. How many divisions they got? Because I do want to take them out, if possibly if possible. Regional power. We are definitely want to become wealthy. Peace. Drug dealers. Community closed. Yeah. We're going to become wealthy, shall we? Yes, we shall. New homes. A house people is a happy people. But local politics first. So we'll try to go to war with people as fast as possible. We'll also be selling to the elites. The elites within our nation have some kind of influence on the regime for quite a while. Why not give in to some of their demands and influence? And as much as I want to do private armies, and cleaner lands. We'll probably go with business is business. My dear friends, let's toast. We bring new vitality to this beautiful nation throughout, through the wealth we will create. New jobs. Our new products and services will bring new opportunities to poor people. Improve business. The economy is ours, but what if we control our opposition and rake in the profits? Oh, you little devil say more or see more? You've done it again. And elite takeover. Our nation is firmly now under grasp, but none will be able to challenge us, at least internally. New homes. The house people's happy people course. Bring businesses. We should ask foreign companies to come to our country to create businesses. It's time to stimulate our nation. Improve urban centers. The capital of a country is reasonably well developed, but the other major population centers are isolated and we're not strongly connected to any of them. Doctor? Question mark. Uh, the way sun is full of rough guys, and but very few are qualified to cure. For instance, it's come necessary to stop the slack. Expand settlement defenses. In a violent world like ours, we must be constantly on guard and protect our towns. Salvage new tools with the expansion of our industrial strength. We must be able to adapt our workers with new tools. Invite gunsmiths. We must improve our military strength. For this, we must produce more equipment. Invite refugees. With their business, uh, new up business operations. We need customers and workers. Nothing better than a tap into the migratory flows caused by war. They're acting on Palisade. Can't afford to let target or to target and destroy threats effectively without casualties. We simply do not have the training as an inter intermediate measure until we can better train our military forces. We'll teach them entrenchment strategies such as moving or mowing, fire tactics, and keeping enemies at bay, as well as proper trench digging procedures. Militia commanders. Giving command of militia squads to train veterans will give, uh, or let the officers already have frontline experience to deploy longer troops, increasing their effectiveness. Letting your command staff understand the requirements of intense battle better than anyone else. Militia drills. Improve drill structuring and trimming over unnecessary parts of it, as well as streamlining the training program we will given across the country. Overseen now by veterans and trained personnel, will yield a noticeable increase in the speed at which we can form our militias. It's the utmost importance that we keep an edge on the field of manpower over our enemies. 
military organization. A reorganization of our command staff, as well as division restructuring, will yield increased tactical efficiency during battle. Such measures will let our troops fight more effectively and maintain information longer in the face of overwhelming odds, given time for reinforcements and militia recruitment posters. Making the most trained personnel or elite units into larger than last soldiers portrayed as tough, professional, and ruthless will make us effective propaganda. Showing these commandos are ready to take on and defeat any enemy will both reassure our population and inspire them into enlisting into our militia. Well, everyone, now it's time to go to Dead Man's Junction, see if we can have a little bit of a raid or two. They don't really want to attack us, which is fine with me. Um, hopefully we just take the tile. You never know. We do have some special forces. They're not super strong. We have no one leading our group here because we don't have enough command power, but we'll get there. And militia is nice to kill off. Yes. Bought some gunsmiths, of course. Improved some urban standards as well. You guys probably want to help out here, too. Help out as well. Of course, we did grab uh, more political power, and then more political power, and then some daily army XP. Is that it? We got them. That's probably one of the fastest wars I've ever done in my entire life, at least in this campaign. At least in this type of this type of campaign. Forlorn Union. I think if we keep expanding this way, no one's going to really bother us too much. Never mind, they got a crap ton of divisions. Um, okay. Well, that'd be really good to grind on. Oh, wait, we can't even kill them. There's a barrier there. So, we'll probably go where next? Highland Watch, maybe? Maybe down here? What is this? Highland Watch and Far Sun, huh? Chief Orange Sky. Oh, did they actually have a unique focus tree? Highland Watch? Seriously? Cowboys will ride alone? Versus Far Sun, Boss Morgul. Oh, they kind of have a unique-ish uh, focus tree for Wyoming. That is unique. That is actually really cool. Um, so they're killing each other. What about Yellowstone Park? They have a generic focus tree. How many divisions they got? Two. Oh, yes. They're next. Oh, my God. They are definitely next. And now it's time for a little trip to Yellowstone, hopefully, and do okay. Powerful military remnants. Ooh. Illusion of danger. Ooh, get more defense of core territory. And wax, more, more max entrenchment. Oh, boy. Well, how many divisions they got? Up to six? Not a ton of manpower, but not, neither do we. We have ten divisions, though, which is pretty nice. Ooh, Lord of the Waste. Very nice, very nice. We should be able to do okay here until I start throwing in more divisions. And then maybe we'll just defend like crazy. But I did want to show you what we're up to right now. Um, yeah, the camp here, which is good. This might take a long time. But in the meantime, um, we're going to get more political power. We will go to at well equipped army. We've got daily army XP gain. We've got Charles Brown, of course. Um, we got Richard Barnes. So we can justify on people faster. And oligarchy. We love the oligarchy. New jobs. Improve business. Might as well, you know. Um, so after all of those, of course we read these ones too. Setting sail. Oh, picking your doctrine. So many choices we can make if we are not careful. We can doom ourselves. Very true. Decode signals. Nice. All right. So they did throw in that many divisions. So that's a case. I just wonder if we can bait them into attacking us. If people are doing well, get more stability if you can. Eighty-seven. Eh, I might still do okay here. Um, third line maybe expand uh, start chem production it's not very well seen but business is business so building or build sewing homes our people need clothes do they not setting up our homes and spaces for people to sell clothing will make our people happier as they won't have time to rely on an old pre-war suit and so they can make one improve the countryside our countryside is full of treasures and uh, ruins to explore small communities live there but there are too awesome for anyone to access let's change that reopen armories we are going to need new, uh, to expand our military force. In order to do so, we must expand our industrial capacity, expand our the farms. The key to life is supplies, and the waste and food is a very rare product. And with that, all of our new workers can afford to expand our farms. Having the fifth resource slot would be very, very beneficial for us, though. Nice. Um, yeah, I, uh, I want to get here, but we need more manpower. Yeah, I'll probably get more manpower first. Yeah, it's probably best to wait, but yeah, overall, I mean, how many divisions we got? Three? 37. Not great. Battle plans. Nice. More soft sack, more entrenchment and whatnot, you know. Always good stuff. Always good, very good stuff. This is good. Nice. New Reno. Yeah. I mean, we'll also grab this one as well, bring our civilization. So that'd be nice, too. Oh, a lot of lag. Why is there a lot of lag? Is this NCR blowing up or something? I don't know. Well, everyone, the game crashed, and, uh, well, uh, MacArthur's gone to war with them, and we've gone to war with the Northern Cons. We're doing okay. Not great. Just doing okay. We're, we lost a few t uh, pieces of territory to these guys as well. Um, and we're trying to make our way to, like I said, Yellowstone, so. Hey, we'll see what happens. 
Um, we'll take whatever tile we can. We'll actually take Yellowstone itself. It just kind of depends on how well we do over here against the cons. So, yeah. We'll see. Um, in the meantime, uh, let's core this piece of territory, even though it's not worth very much. It's better than to, to not have any resistance there anyway. So, um, Our divisions are not looking too bad. 18 combo width could be better, but you know, whatever. we got to make some anti-tank as well. Because, good god, we do we need some anti-tank. You guys actually win there? Yeah, once the second division shows up, we should be able to. I'm not too worried about that. Um, but yeah, these guys are actually relatively tanky. Then again, these guys' infantry sucks on defense. Or, it's, it's okay on defense, but on attacking, it's pretty god awful. Come on. Come on. There you go. <coughs> Holy valley. And even if we take the Elso and the MacArthur wants to go to war them, we'll still probably be able to defend down here. And that's why we're getting some anti tank already. Which, of course, is a very good thing to grab. Ooh, go and grab that one. Why not? Might as well. Economy is really not too bad at all. It's actually pretty nice. Pretty sweet. We lost quite a few guys, though. So it, it kind of sucks, but whatever. We'll expand our conscription level more and more and more and more and more. Oh, Grand Teton? Nice. So we're going to take Yellowstone. I don't care what happens. I don't care what the enemy wants. Yeah, we deserve Yellowstone. So we're going to take it. We've got to think of everything else. And to make it look nice, we'll take that too. And this. Uh, you know what? That'll make it just look nicer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. They're probably going to attack us next, but whatever. Um... Now with special forces here, we gotta go up here and try to encircle these guys too, so. Part standardization is nice. Make sure we get some more of this stuff, and we're gonna go with ballistics just because ballistics are necessary. And we can start coring this too eventually too, because that's a lot of good resources there. Factories and whatnot, is very good. Let's get over there, just come on. Stop taking so long. Go, 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 go! Of course we're probably out of guns, yes we are. Yeah, that's why we want to reopen armories. And grab some of that too. Nice. Uh, go find throwers because you can. Go with three because we need quite a few of those things. That's fine with us. Special forces, they are 12 combat width, which is not good enough. Nice. 18 combat width is decent. Awesome. Get a little closer if you, oh, what, no. Stay. There you go. Get us conviction, which is fine. Um, so you're going to do all of these, rebuild industries. You simply cannot stand out of the way so you don't have enough significant industrial strength and improve our markets. We can afford continuous sell vegetables exist, we must expand our commercial offer. Explore police stations. Uh, in the old world, there were local peacekeepers and they were well armed. We can only help to find the relics. We need more and more production with expanding production. Our workers must be more efficient and faster. Deconstruct weapons. We found many weapons, far too complex. We could try to dismantle them or disable, disassemble them into something more we understand. Expanding caravan security. That's great to be able to supply our shops and villages, but these caravans never come. It's useless. Let's change that. Increase trade tariffs. We need to make a profit on every sale, otherwise we'll never move forward. Relics of war. The old war seems to be permeated with the atmosphere of constant warfare. Perhaps we can benefit from the vestiges and more resources. The waste of forgotten store hold of valuable resources. Hidden away in forgotten ruins. Why not make the most of it? Encourage women to serve. Everyone should be able to serve. The women of our nation are so afraid for they think the war should be left to men. We'll show them that they can help destroy the enemy and defend their nation's wall. Sniper training, infiltration tactics, sniper drills, and they'll kill the raider just as, as effectively as any man. The standardized military. Our militaries use vast amounts of different equipment. Be it firearms, armor, even some say supply and food. Creating and standardizing a basic armament and supply kit will simplify our supply lines considerably and reduce the strain felt both during the defensive and offensive operations. Uh, more resources because we can. Construction speed, yes. Go ahead, go in. How about? How about you? Oh! Wait, what? Oh, they came in through there. Oh, crap, that's not good. Well, I need to take that towel. That's fine. I still want to circle these guys best, as fast as possible, so. My bad. I did not realize that. That's completely my fault. Uh, 
and deploy, they'll be fine. Come on, come on, come on. Don't let them move. You guys are going to force it no, to call that division too. Crop rotation's nice. Get some of that because you can. And there we shall go. Ooh, come on. There we go. Nice. More resources are nice. Expand police stations. Help them out. Help them out. There we go. We're up now. 400 versus 400, roughly ish. Get down there as fast as you can. They want eh, special forces division two. Good. Keep them in place. And now they're fully cut off. And they're gonna fully die here. Ooh, actually. Let you guys go right on in. You go right there. Go up there. Because if you do that, they're probably throwing divisions over there too. Um, you guys go right there. You guys are doing fine. Do what you must. Could force it, but there's really no point to. Alright, what else? Uh, I like Spy Master. That's pretty good. I like more attack. But, you know what? Grab more reconnaissance, description, stuff like that. Fun stuff. And they're compl completely cut off already. Nice. Oh. Oh, what's up that? Portable radio is nice. Grab some stuff over there. 50 army XP is not bad. Come over here so you get more daily army XP gain. Very good as well, yes. Are they gonna... Oh my god, MacArthur's gonna come kill us, aren't they? Yeah, we're taking everything. Feeling they're gonna come try to strike us down very soon. Well, they're gone for now, but we've got to build ourselves up quite a bit, because these guys are going to come attack us probably pretty gosh darn soon. And as I knew earlier, MacArthur has gone to war with us, which is, well, it's been going all right. Um, in the meantime, uh, we've been able to hold out, even though we've taken way more casualties than they have, roughly double, which is not great, but whatever. Um, but we're doing okay. We, 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 Manpower-wise, we're struggling a little bit, but, you know, it, it is what it is. It, it, it is what it is. So. Um, go into that, too. And Circumvent's very nice, of course, already. Uh, but, yeah, it's been quite a struggle, especially with all that advanced power armor that they get, do get, which does kind of suck for us. Yeah, we just got to be careful about our own manpower, to be honest. Of course, our planes are doing okay, though. Planes are doing a-okay. Nice. You guys are actually going to be able to just push out. So you might as well just go right now and see what you can do. They put down a lot of compliance for us. That's great. Ooh, they're attacking the That's not good. Um, there are you. There. You guys. Nikes. Um, go do that. Come over here. Go and grab some of this. More organization for special forces would be very good. Oh, God. They did bust through here, didn't they? Oh no, they did not. They're, you guys were pretty nice. Uh, let these guys move around, then maybe we can take that tile as well. Let them get through, let them get through. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, it's going to get very, very costly. But if we move fast enough, you know. Oh, I want to encircle them, dang it. Red Lodge, not bad, not bad. Did we cut them off yet? Yes, we did. Very nice. We actually might be do, able to do very well here. Maybe. Maybe. It's a definite maybe. As long as we ourselves don't get a single... Hey, that's not bad. Old World Tactics. Inspiration taken from the Old World Data Terminals, Military Manuals, will be put to use improving our armed forces. Old World Tactics are effective, but too crude for the wasteland. Combining these with skirmishing and guerrilla strategies while well, survival training will make our army into a capable fighting force. Um, 
Well, fallback tactics. Specialized recon troops constantly scour, uh, scouting a rear line to retreat routes as well as pre plan reinforce defensive positions behind our front line will make our forces able to tactically retreat under covering fire instead of simply running as fast as possible and soling their underwear. Point defense strategy. Point defense strategy is designated as such because it's operating requirements. Multiple camouflage outward posts armed with long range weaponry and off the beaten path will both thrust enemy troops from afar and give advance warning as to their comp composition and strength. Tactical awareness and mapping. Integrating map awareness and tactical battlefield thinking into the training regimen of our command staff and recon sergeant will make them able to direct our troops more effectively and know they're starting better. A lot of move and strike in a rapid fashion, as well as organizing ambushes and traps, leaving no respite to the enemy. Marching drills. While we prefer to refer to as improved physical and tactical drills, the frack and born walk is a soldier's company to call it, and improves its strategic mobility via better resilience and faster marching, being slightly more swift than the enemy will always be an advantage worth having. Long distance moves. Expanding upon our march of drills, we managed to prove it as, as to also maintain tactical awareness, combined sen uh, combat senses, and proper battle spacing during long walks. As such, our troops are more ready to face an enemy counterattack, or immediately join an assault without having to stop in a group, plan a wall. Further research into advanced outpost construction as well as a streamlined design, both integrating the, into the desert environment and sturdy enough to resist small arms fire, will let us construct military outposts as a much faster rate to protect our territory. Final lines of defenses. The priority is the protection of our population and city center. As such, multiple interweaving lines of defense will be established around a side of perimeter. We can allow the enemy to break through to massacre our people, and we'll never let them. Our stand will be done here, not one step back. Recruit caravan guards. More and more commercial convoys pass through our cities, and we have noticed the curious thing. Guards assigned to them are not actually employees, but mercenaries. Promising them a place to stay in better work contracts than their merchants' employers will let us recruit them into our army, bolstering our ranks with trained professionals. Our gunsmiths. The dire need for more firepower can resolve in quite a simple way. Sending messengers throughout our nation to recruit any gunsmith available into our armed forces will both increase their manufacturing capabilities and bring their small arms expertise into our ranks. Subsidized weapon manufacturers. Massive investments in our local weapons will let them recruit more people, expand their operations, and acquire advanced equipment. In return, we will benefit from weaponry provided at a reduced bulk rate and have priority in firearm batches over private citizens. Establish an armory. Establishing a centralized armory building in every city center will simplify supplies, increase access to ammo, and give a better working space to our military industry, as well as an emergency location for our military members to go in case of an enemy attack. As we are going to desperately try to encircle and destroy as many enemies as possible up here, down here, uh, you can take them probably one on one, in all honesty. Uh, is there a reason why they're not attacking? If anything, actually. You guys go right there. Go and do that. We might be able to them there. Hopefully we can get these guys down. If we can take Billings, that would probably be for the best. Um, and we're going to continue pushing up here too, which is great. Division for division, their divisions are better, but we have more mass uh, soldiers, so. No, I don't want you to go, I want you guys to go right there. Once we encircle them, then we're going to continue attacking here. And go. Now. Nice. Excuse me. Uh, 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 I mean, can we actually pierce them? Yeah, we can. we can. We can pierce each other, though. Which honestly is fine with me. Yeah, as long as we can pierce power armor. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever, man. Oh, we're doing really well here, too. Finally, things are turning around. Now we kill off more enemies than they have. Oh, we have more divisions than they do now. Three to one. Nice. Good stuff. MacArthur really sucks. It sucks fighting these guys. It really does. We've got to fight. These guys later too. We're gonna to need more manpower. We're already on two year conscription. We're gonna need even more conscription. You know, what but what else is needed, you know? There you go. Big timber. I like them big. For you oh, can't even get here? I do 2280. Oh, okay. Alright then, well, whatever. MacArthur Air Force Base, nice. Yeah, good luck. Keep building in Casper close to it because let's trade him. And that's a trade I didn't realize we actually had, so. Nice. The radar's nice too. Yeah, get some more of that as well.
Give me mobile fortifications. Why not? Go straight up to the base. Nice. Um, and get down here. Yes. Very nice. Fall back tactics. Anything else? No. Marking drills. Go around and kill them all. Planes. So they're not even close to capitulating yet. They only have three divisions left. And have we raised conscription level? No, we have not. Conscription. Nice. Service and dismissal. Has to be after 2282. Now how much money do we have right now? Oh, there's Tlaloc. Goodbye, Tlaloc. Can we. Yes, we can. Nice. Very good. Very nice. Great Falls is not even a core of theirs. God dang it. Excellent. Start taking all Missoula. Is this Montana? It is. I think I've been there at the airport. Is there an airport there? They should. They probably should. They probably do. I got more manpower, of course, we're raising more conscription levels. Infantry equipment, we are really out. Really bad. Come on, broski. We got the Air Force Base. Oh, and we got him. Very nice. Well, definitely didn't plan on this episode being like this. Oh, Lone Trees even took these guys out too. Huh. All right. Well, I guess these guys are probably next. We've got to consolidate our area quite a bit, but uh, 105 days. That ain't too bad. Marching drills. Get all the stuff done. Get all the stuff done. Get all the stuff done. Uh, air base construction. Our nation could do well cleaning some land and restoring what the old world referred to as an airfield. Perhaps we can bring in trade and the worst we have free land and settling, setting sail. A naval fleet is an enormous undertaking. However, the benefits for all far away the cost, especially as our enemies are unlikely to ignore the waters as a means of warfare. So what are we wet selling, waiting on? Sail up? Set sail. And metal scrap. The forgotten lands of the West Center filled with metallic uh, rubble, cars, suns, etc. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you do. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we'll finish out this campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great Baron's rest of your day.